they are professional students, you are welcome to class. In this class, we want to look at statistical test. Which one should you use? And we are talking of stat statistical test. Statistical tests are used in hypothesis testing. They can be used to determine whether a predictor variable has statistically significant relationship with an outcome variable. And also, we use statistical tests to estimate the difference between two or more groups. Statistical tests assume a null hypothesis of no relationship or no difference between the group. Then, they determine whether the observed data fall outside the range of value predicted by the null hypothesis. Now, let's look at what it does. That is, what does a statistical test do? Statistical tests work by calculating a test statistic, that is, a number that describes how much relationship between the variables in your test device from the null hypothesis of no relationship. It's then calculate the p-value, we call p-value what? Probability value. The p-value estimates how likely it is that you will see the difference between the test statistics if the null hypothesis of no result were true. That is what the p-value indicates. So if the value of your test statistic is more extreme than the statistic calculated by the null hypothesis, then you can infer a statistically significant relationship between the predictor and the outcome variables. Let me come again. I said if the value of the test statistics is more extreme than the statistic calculated from the null hypothesis, then you can infer a statistically significant relationship between the predictor and outcome variables. And if the value of the test statistics is less extreme than the one calculated from the null hypothesis, then you can infer no statistical significant between the predictor and the outcome variable. Now, when to perform the statistical test? You can perform statistical tests on data that have been collected in the statistically valid manner, either through an experiment or through observation made using probability sampling method. For statistical test to be valid, your sample size needs to be large enough to approximate the true division of the population being studied. So to determine the statistical, to determine which statistical test to use, you need to know whether the data meets certain assumptions and also you need to know the type of variable that you are dealing with. The first thing you have to know, as I said, is to know whether the data meets certain assumptions and also the type of variable that you are dealing with. It is then you able to know which type of statistical test you want to use. Now, what about the assumption? We are talking of statistical assumptions. Statistical tests make some common assumptions about the data they are testing. The first one is independence of observation, which is known as autocorrelation. There is no autocorrelation. There is no automatic correlation. If there are automatic correlation between the predictor and the other thing you are using, it is not good at all. So there must be independence of observation. The observation of variables you include in your test are not related. For example, multiple measurement of a single test subject not independent. Why measurement of multiple different test subjects are independent? That is one. We also have another uh, assumption which says homogeneity of variance. The variance within which each group being compared is similar among other groups. If one group has much more variation than other, it will limit the test effectiveness. So the variance will be similar. One should not be uh, have more variation than the other. And the last assumption is normality of data. The data follows a normal distribution, that is a bell curve. This assumption apply only to quantitative data. Those are the assumptions. Now, let's look at the type of variables now. The type of variables you have usually determine what type of statistical test you want to use. We have quantitative variables, which represent the amount of things, e.g. number of trees, 
So this type of content uh, variable include continuous and discrete. We are talking about continuous, which is also known as what? Variable, uh, ratio variables. This represents the measure and can usually be divided into units smaller than one. That is continuous. If I divide it to units that are smaller than what? One. We have discrete as well, which is known as integer variables. Integer variables represent counts that usually cannot be divided into units smaller than one. For example, you can have once you say, let me start with from the continuous. Continuous means that when you are measuring height or body weight, understand that could be open something. It is continuous, open 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, like that. But in case of this grid, this grid is something that is specific. It is certain. One, two, three. How many children do you have? I have five. I have five. You can say I have five point three. I have five point two. So there is no point in something that is what that is an uh, integer variable. We also have another type of variables which is known as categorical variables. Categorical variables represent grouping of things. For example, the different three species in the forest. So this type of categorical table include ordinal, nominal, and binary. When we are talking of ordinal, ordinal represents data with an order. It has order that is ranking. One nominal represents names, which is brand or species name. And binary represents data with yes or no. Understand? Win or loss, that's a binary. And those are the types of variables we have. Now, now let's also look at what we mean by parametric test. Or choosing a parametric test. Examples of parametric tests we have are regression, comparison, or correlation. Parametric tests usually have stricter requirements than non-parametric tests. And you are or these are able to make stronger inferences from data. They can only be conducted with data that adhere to the common assumption of statistical tests. So the most common type of parametric tests include regression test, comparison test, and correlation test. When we are talking of regression test, let's look at the one after the other. When we are talking of regression test, regression tests are tests that we use to test the cost and effect relationship. To test cost and effect relationship meaning that is a kind of uh, test we use in experimental research so they look to the effect of one or more continuous variable on the order for example you know you have the variable here we have outcome variable we have research a, a sample and question when i'm talking of predictable uh, variable we have simple simple linear regression what is the outcome? Is a continuous what? Conti under the predictor variable, is a continuous uh, predictor. It's also continuous here. Yeah? Like, look at the question: What is the effect of income on longevity? On longevity. That's a kind of uh, a research we are talking about.